Hey, I'm Paul and you're watching Bulldog Bites. I'm here literally surrounded by art from local area high school students, which means it's that time of year again. The annual regional high school student art exhibit is underway here in the art department at SSE. And I have with me the art department chair, Jack Kirkpatrick, and it's a pleasure to have you here, sir. Thanks, Paul. It's good to see you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, tell me a little bit about this event. You know, what is so exciting about having this here at SSE? Well, for me, I, I love to see the passion and the expression of these high school students. There is a, an incredible variety of talent, and really, when you, when you take a look at the exhibition, there are 300 artistic visions wow. in, this, in this area, and it's just fabulous. And every year, the show gets a little better, and this year, the show is even better. I, I hope people will come by to see it. Well, I hear there's a, a festival uh, on the 28th. Uh, what is that uh, particular event about? Well, that's our, our, our festival where all the high schools bring the students and they come by to our Performing Arts Center and we have a keynote speaker, a, a fairly uh, well-known artist who will speak with them. We'll have an awards ceremony where we present Best of Show awards. And then after that, we have a what we call a studio crawl and we bring the students up into our department and they get a chance to see each other's work, which is really probably one of the most exciting things. Mm -hmm. Also part of that is uh, we have a bronze pour and we have all of our studios open. For instance, if you wanted to come to the ceramic studio and get dirty, we would teach <laughs> you how to make a pot. Wow. If you've never made a pot, it doesn't matter. You'll have made a pot of one shape or another by the time you're done. Cool, very nice. Uh, can anyone attend this or is it only for high school, the high school students? Oh no, it's open to anyone. You know, okay. We would request that if there, someone was trying to bring a fairly large group that they would give us advance notice, okay. but if it's just a person or two wants to stop by, there's always a little bit of room to come in and hear the keynote. And the gallery crawl is open to anybody. We see a lot of people come through with that. Yeah, I, I imagine with a, an event like this, uh, there's got to be some memorable things that happen. Uh, can you tell us, you know, like something that really sticks out to you having this here? Yeah, there are a few things that come to mind. Um, the first time we did the the potathon or the mudathon, whatever you want to call it, it kind of started. I was throwing pots for students in sort of this very static demonstration, and then one of the kids said, "Hey, I want to throw a pot." <laughs> okay, fine. You were willing to get dirty, and all of a sudden we had 20 kids are like jumping on the potter's wheels, and there's like mud everywhere, and it was, that was a lot of fun. And ever since then, we don't, we, I don't do demonstrations anymore. It's like, come on in, guys. You're gonna make pots, and they just get dirty and they have a lot of fun. It's really a, a really nice, great event, and I, I love doing it. Well, thank you so much, Jack, for being on the show. Great we hope fun. you'll stop by the fourth floor and look through the art and design department where the artwork is on display throughout the galleries and display cases. I'm Paul, and we'll see you next time right here on Bulldog Bites.